Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today we're gonna go through some of my thoughts on Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2. Right now it's currently in the PTU and it's right now it's being released to all backers uh, to be able to access and test, okay? So, which means it's, it's getting ready, really close to going live. Um, so before we move forward, I'd like to give a big thank you to my Patreons and channel members. I uh, really appreciate you guys for continuing to support this channel. All right, without any further ado, Let's get right into it. So today I want to go over some some aspects of uh, 17.2 uh, just to give my thoughts on how it's been performing so far uh, during this whole test cycle. All right. So when it comes to the game gameplay aspect of it, it's I think it's it's really good. Um, I'm actually quite impressed because this is one of the this is one of the uh, patches that we, we received that has so much content when it comes to gameplay. You know, when it comes to the the new reclaimer, uh, derelict reclaimer sites, it's it's fantastic, right? You have enemies finally um, at the location, NPCs um, with the planetary nav uh, mesh um, in play, where they're actually walking around and will engage you and kill you on site. So you have to get through them in order to get access to whatever your mission is or to loot, you know, and that and that's really really good, you know. That's that 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 technology is a game changer the planetary nav mesh and it's, it's exciting there's a lot of things that's going to be coming along with it in future patches and the fact that they're getting this in now is a good sign you know so when it also comes to the the new derelict with colonialism locations also are also fantastic there will also are npcs that will also be guarding those sites as well and um what whilst, what also makes it impress impressive for the reclaimer and the colonial locations it then the um what do you call it the ship the drop ship reinforcements that's going to be coming in as well uh to also defend the site that is really really good so now they finally have ships coming down with npcs inside leaving the nav mesh within the ship and also and to also come into the terrain on of the planet is a big jump from um what we had before right it's the first time we're seeing such a thing so right now it's kind of buggy um so far with my experience it's kind of buggy i never fully seen it fully work um so hopefully they can fix it before it goes live okay and one of the also things that i really enjoy right now is uh the fact that you can also find relics i found um a relic i found two relics actually a tavarian war relic and an interesting rock a piece of a piece of a relic and um it it, it blew my mind i didn't expect it i don't think anybody was was in the know about it and the fact that they're adding things like that in there um is, is very interesting because there are people that want that enjoy exploration and me i want to find all, all the pieces you know i want to find all the pieces i want to go to different locations and find all the pieces so this is opening things up to um what cig envisions when it comes to exploration the exploration aspect of star citizen so it's 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 very big it's very very i'm very impressed with with them adding that as well also the service beacon uh, mission so there's varying levels now where you will get um, a defend mission where an NPC is currently being attacked by a pirate and you'll have to go there and defend them okay so those missions are pretty good you know you can make a lot of money in a short period of time the initial um, mission you'll get is actually um, pays very little money but once you get the introduction mission going and you you start you start to do a few more missions you'll start to notice that you'll be making a lot of money in a short period of time some of these some of these missions when we were getting when we we're getting to the medium level ones we we're making like a hundred thousand you know for a medium level one so it, it it's it's pretty good it's pretty really good so um it's really exciting stuff um when it comes to the derelict reclaimer black site mission so now there is reclaimer missions that are also now in space right so there's there's one called the Black Site Mission, and that mission is so impressive. The content in that is so, so good. You know, it was an amazing experience for me. You know, there there is traversal in there. There's enemy AI in there. There is, there's puzzles in there. Um, you'll have to find items in there. Um, and then you, I believe in the mission, you'll have to find a terminal. You have to find a, a key card in a terminal. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it's, it's, there's puzzles in there that you have to get through, right? So it it was very immersive when it comes to the detail within the sh within the ship right the the fact that there's blood on the ground and 
you know, it, it makes you curious to see what actually happened at the reclaimer, at that reclaimer, inside of that reclaimer, you know. So the detail within the ships was just amazing, you know. And I did it multiple times and I noticed that some parts of the reclaimer were actually different. The way that they detailed it is a little different. So it, it makes it more interesting as you do it over and over, okay? So I'm really, really impressed with that. Another big feature, uh, gameplay feature, is the Siege of Orison. I personally haven't had the experience of testing that yet, um, but it's it's quite impressive when it comes to the location of it. it it's it's massive, and I didn't even get to see all of it. Um, some of the loot boxes there, you can find some really unique items there, so it's really exciting to be able to go out and finally experience that. So I can't wait to actually get my hands on it to test it out all right so also they added the illegal delivery missions i never had a chance to try it out but it's also a good thing to have for pirates um to also have something else to do aside from combat all right so when it comes to new locations it's pretty good the new um space stations that they add i think mike l2 3 4 and 5 um is pretty good they look awesome they look awesome the space clouds look amazing and the new asteroid textures are fantastic and, and the combination of all of them with with the lighting around it, it really sells it man it really immerses you in it it's a it's, it's beautiful it's a beautiful location so i encourage you guys to check it out once you have access all right um when it comes to the performance i would say it's so so throughout the uh test cycle it was a little um initially it was there was a lot of 30ks that we were experiencing there was a lot of um I know that some of the missions weren't working properly. The AI wasn't spawning in at some of the, the colonial colonialism locations, and and the um, the what do you call it? The dropship reinforcements weren't actually coming down and, and stuff like that. So it was a little buggy initially, but from patch to patch, it's it's been improving. So I can't wait till they actually finally iron out all the bugs for us to actually fully experience um this but so far recently i've been getting some very smooth frames in the game and uh, i'm really excited about it all right so yeah so those are my thoughts on uh so far what the patch is how the patch is performing you guys let me know what you're most uh what feature you're most excited about in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you on the next one